What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. We have many new guidelines this year for your safety. This is what you need to know. A lot has changed at Seaman High School. Here's how you can follow the new guidelines. Check your temperature upon entering the school and remember to always wear a mask. Remember to social distance and follow instructions posted around the school, such as signs posted on drinking fountains and one-way signs on hallway floors. Frequently wash your hands, especially before and after lunch. Hand washing stations and sanitizer are available around the school. Please follow these new rules and regulations. Now on to the rest of announcements. The Haunted Trail is tonight. The Kids Trail is from 4 to 6 and the Adult Trail is from 7 to 10. Check Schoology for more information. There will be an ACT prep class this Sunday over Zoom. Make sure to register as soon as possible to get the discounted price. If you're interested in wrestling this year, please see Coach Kelly in C3 to get an informational packet. He will also be in the East Commons after school. Clubs are now taking new members. We caught up with some sponsors to learn more about why you should join each of their clubs. In today's story, Carly Journey and I interviewed some SHS club sponsors to get more information on their clubs. Uh, Science Club basically just does whatever sounds fun. <laughs> so sometimes that is just playing around with microscopes. Uh, other times it's taking a field trip to Baker Wetlands and out to the uh, like Nature Center. Um, sometimes we do like labs uh, in class, like the elephant toothpaste and stuff. So yeah, just anything sciencey. Um, come join. It's a lot of fun. Our club, um, it's a really um, like easygoing club that basically we get together and people who like to learn about Spanish culture um, and culture of other Spanish-speaking countries, we get together and do things um, that have to do with that. <laughs> um, if you'd like to join Spanish Club, you can email either one of us, um, pay $3 to the bank, and bring us your yellow receipt. reads books <laughs> and they talk about books. So our Seaman Printmakers, this is a, a new club here at Seaman High School and really it's a focus on printmaking. Printmaking is one of the art classes we offer at Seaman High School and so uh, what the club is really going to focus in is just the different printmaking processes which include you know screen printing like t-shirts um, dry point etching, monotypes, uh, there's also cal uh, calligraphy. So uh, if they're interested in being in our club, they can just email me directly. And then when we have our, our date and time, I'll send out a blast to everybody who, who has contacted me. If any of these clubs interest you, make sure to check them out. If you're interested in any of those, go see the sponsor now. We also went around and asked some of you guys would you rather questions. Let's see the responses. Okay, so I would rather somebody, like the person I love, fall in love with somebody else because I just want the other person to be happy. And then, uh, like, I feel like cheating on would be like, getting cheated on would like hurt more than somebody else falling in love, so. Um, I'd rather have whoever I love fall in love with someone else because if you love someone and they cheat on you, then like, you lost all your trust for them. And You're welcome. I feel like that would suck. I think getting cheated on is worse because um, someone that you thought loved you turns out um, that they didn't love you and I think that's just really hard to deal with. I'd say the worst one is them cheating on you because that means that y'all were actually dating and stuff and they didn't know or they knew and then they still did it. Definitely the second one, watching someone fall in love with someone else because I think getting cheated on isn't the same as falling in love with someone 
and that would be a lot. Watching the person you love loving somebody else because I mean you have to literally sit there and watch them like experience new things with somebody else that like you guys experience at some point. I think it's more painful to see somebody cheat on you because uh, when you see somebody go love somebody else, you know that they that that person's treating them better than you did. So you get a lot of self hate, and I don't like that. So. That's all I got for today, Vikes. See you next time.